questions today. Most of us are spending more time outside as the weather warms up, but you need to make sure that you protect yourself from the sun. So we have Dr. Ruby Melcheski from Aurora Medical Center here to talk about the dangers of sun exposure. Very timely topic. Uh, what should be uh, what should we be concerned about? We hear about it all the time, but we need to be concerned about sun exposure. Definitely. So first off, with the sun, right away the biggest threat is sunburn, which can be painful. You actually get damage to the cells in your skin. Long term wise, with you know chronic sun exposure, we can get aging, photo aging as we call it. So that's skin discoloration, that's wrinkling, and most importantly, the concern of skin cancer from sun exposure. It kind of sounds self-explanatory, but how do we protect ourselves from the harmless rays of the sun? Yeah, many ways. So there's definitely sunscreen, which we'll get into more, but also other mechanisms as well. So just using protective clothing, so long sleeves, pants, so a big hat, sunglasses too, some lip balms have some pretty good SPF protection as well. Um, staying in the shade when you're outside is also a good idea. Um, we also say to kind of avoid being outside during the peak hours of 10 to 2. No sun for you. It's kind of a funny saying. Um, that's when there is more risk of sun damage. What kind of conversation do you have with your uh, patients about sunscreen? There's so much mm -hmm. out there. There are so many numbers. Like there's how so do you choose which one yeah, is right for you? The spray kind, the lotion kind. I mean, what do you tell them? Generally, we say brand-wise, not too much of an issue. Mainly, I wanted to say, number one, that there's at least an SPF of 30 or higher. Um, number two, you want to say broad spectrum. So that means it's going to cover UVA and UVB rays, which is very important for protection of, um, um, prevention of skin cancer. Um, and when you're applying sunscreen, at least 20 minutes before you go outside, so it kind of develops a film over your skin. Um, reapplying every two hours, pretty much no matter what. And if you're going to be in the pool or if you're sweating a lot with an activity, reapplying more frequently, maybe every hour as well. Um, and those are kind of the basics of sunscreen that I tell my patients. Any um, advice for children as opposed to adults when it comes to sunscreen and that broad spectrum? Yeah, so children in general, we say six months and older is a good time to start um, using sunscreen. Otherwise, for kiddos younger than that, we do say to just keep them in the shade and put hats on them and things like that. Um, and in terms of which type of sunscreen to use, you could go either way. If your child has sensitive skin, we do recommend more of the mineral-based sunscreens. Those will say on it zinc oxide or titanium dioxide mm -hmm. um, versus the other types of sunscreens. So we can enjoy the sun, just be sure. careful and uh, use uh, the sunscreen. Yes, please. All right, very good, Dr. <laughs> Thank Ruby. You. Thank you very much for mm -hmm. coming in. If you have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at today's tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We have the number right there for you. Well.